people are doing more baking these days, looking for recipes they can make at home with their families. Lynn Archer is no exception, and she shares one of her recipes with us for Hershey Kiss cookies. We're in the kitchen at Lynn Archer's house with my two beautiful granddaughters, Danielle Riley. and Riley. And they're going to help me right now make what my grandmother called peanut butter blossoms, but we've decided they are called kissy cookies, <laughs> yeah. Hershey Kiss cookies. Yeah. We've got our ingredients ready. And the first thing we start with is softened butter, a half a cup, and we put it and beat it on low. Danielle. Until it's beaten. Very good. Now, Riley, half a cup of sugar. And a half cup of brown sugar, Danielle. And we beat that. One egg. Riley, would you put in one egg, please? And beat. So this is kind of a math class. It's something that we can all do together. And it teaches measurement. Um, but what was the first thing we did, Riley? Washed our hands. Washed our hands. The most important thing. Wash your hands. Especially right now, right? Yep. Right. We need... Salt. Right. A half teaspoon. And a full teaspoon of baking soda. Yep. Right? And if you take the box and fill up your spoon like that and pat it down a little bit, you get a nice Flat. teaspoon. A teaspoon of vanilla. I like vanilla in my peanut butter cookies. Yeah. And then you can beat it. This is the best part, being with family and doing things together, right? Yeah. Right. Okay, you may stop. And then the most important ingredient in peanut butter cookies is... Peanut, peanut butter. butter! Peanut butter! So that is three quarters of a teaspoon, a cup, excuse me. <laughs> teaspoon wouldn't work, would it? No. Okay, beat away, Danielle. We need to do some peanut butter. And stop. That's delicious. I know, right? And then the last thing is... Flour! Right. One and a half cups. And I usually put about half and beat slowly. Because you don't want to end up with flour like a snowstorm. <laughs> Right? Maybe snow. Nice. And it smells, it smells good. good, yeah. And then I add the other half. It's going to be a lot of cookies. It is going to be a lot of cookies. And if it's really, really thick, you can gradually add like a tablespoon of milk. I don't always do that because some peanut butter is oilier than others. I like the old fashioned peanut butter that has a little bit of a layer of oil. but. And this actually does have that. So sometimes if it's really, really thick, just a few drops of milk helps. But I can tell this batch is not going to need it. And so you're going to take about a one inch ball. And Danielle, you're going to roll it into a ball, nice and smooth. And I'm going to do one too, so we'll inundate Riley with her sugar coating. And drop it in the sugar after you get it rolled. Here they come, Riley. Here, Danielle. And we're gonna fill up this baking sheet. We're gonna bake them at 375 for about eight to 10 minutes. Um, and you'll be able to tell because they puff right up. These cookies have baked for nine minutes at 375. And right now this pan is really, really hot. So girls, you're gonna be careful 
and you're gonna put the kiss in and push it down lightly. Go right ahead, but be careful of the hot pan. And what did we do before we started this step? Wash our hands. hands. Right. And you can see how they crinkle. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that chocolate, because of the warmth in the cookie, melts the bottom of the Hershey Kiss. Ooh, that one. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So it sticks. So that it sticks to the cookie. Mm -hmm. So they came out pretty good. Mm. We hope you liked our show. Stay safe, everybody. Thanks so much. I used to make those cookies with my mom. So if you want to try out Lynn's recipe, we've got it posted on our website. Just go to newcentermaine.com slash 207.